free will is uh, a representation isn't within the system that it's made a decision and the decision is being uh, made uh, on the best understanding of what's correct and a free will is uh, is basically it's uh, the outflow of this control task it's the outflow of the uh, control uh, uh, algorithm being executed in the right way the opposite to free will is not determinism if, if you are indeterministic you cannot have free will if you behave randomly there is no will involved right it's just random and uh, the opposite uh, to uh, free will is also not coercion because you are deciding that you are giving into the coercion you wouldn't need to be coerced if you wouldn't have a degree of freedom but uh, the opposite to free will is compulsion it's basically when you do something despite knowing better the opposite of free will is compulsion as well as randomness uh, so uh, uh, randomness is the absence of will at all right a I system see. that is random has no will so the will cannot be free or not mm -hmm. but uh, so we have to look at the opposite of the freedom and the opposite of the freedom is not the coercion it's the compulsion it's What's when the, the system the uh, compulsion means that you have a model of what you should be doing but you don't find yourself acting on it you find yourself acting on something else you are acting on based on some impulse or some addiction and uh that is basically the true impingement on your freedom. Uh, but uh, it's important to realize that uh, freedom is not an absolute uh, notion in the physical sense. It's, uh, it's a reference that we make to certain internal states. So when I refer to my own decisions as being the result of my free will, it depends on the context in which I use this. And when I talk about the experiential context, I experience my will is free when I have the impression that I made the decision based on parameters that are the right ones, that are uh, in the proper order with respect to the control structures that my mind currently implements, and not because of uh, some glitch in the matrix, of some glitch in the system that implements me, or uh, of, of some erroneous programming or some uh, external force that is spreading in my mind. So uh, when people have the impression that they inter uh, act uh, out of a compulsion, for instance, because they say, for instance, have anorexia, they might decide to, um, uh, or bulimia, they might decide not to throw up after eating, but they cannot help themselves. They just have this uh, enormous urge to throw up or make themselves throw up. And there's nothing that they can do about this. And it's a very disturbing experience because it impinges on your freedom. There is one thing that you want to do and another thing that you find yourself to be doing. And this is a very big existential disturbance that happens in that case. Okay, so freedom is like you have a model, then you execute on the model based on the parameters, and it's salutary, and it's positive? What does positive mean? That it fits your goals. It typically does, right? So uh, imagine you have your Frodo in uh, your um, Middle Earth world, and it's a story, and we imagine we implement this as a computer simulation, like a Minecraft Middle Earth. And you have your Frodo agent in there, and the Frodo agent is acting based on models that Frodo is creating. Then uh, Frodo would uh, probably conceptualize his actions as being the result of his own free will, if uh, he has the impression that uh, everything happened in the way that it was supposed to in his own mind. That is, mm -hmm. he is perceiving certain things. There are certain things he wants as a result of his uh, physiological, social, and cognitive needs and spiritual transcendental needs, maybe, which I think may be understood as a class of social needs. And uh, as a result, he is doing certain things. He's making certain decisions because they increase the likelihood that he is reaping the anticipated rewards with respect to his needs. And uh, if this all happens in the proper order, then his mind will represent, I wanted this. The intention is being represented, and I wanted this because of a mechanism that was only determined by what, by what I needed and what I considered to be the right thing, which defines my own freedom. So it's in some sense a paradox. The more you know what you ought to be doing, the more agency you have, and the more freedom you have subjectively, but the fewer degrees of freedom you have. And the less you know what you're doing, the more degrees of freedom you have, but the less do your actions mean anything, which means you have less objective freedom or because you have less will. So is free will a story that we tell ourselves? Part of that? It's a, it's a model, right? In a sense, it's a story that we tell ourselves. But it's not we who do this. It's the mind who tells it to the self. It's upstream from the self. 
Your mind cannot control what it experiences at its own will except in certain states. 